Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and today I am going to be making three healthy-ish summer desserts. Now we do like to bake sweet treats in our home. We don't do it a whole lot. I would say probably averaging about once a week we like to make something sweet. Normally my oldest two daughters really love to make something. A few things that make desserts a little bit healthier in my opinion are swapping out regular flour for einkorn, swapping out regular sugar for something like coconut sugar, maple syrup, or honey. Using a sourdough starter in place of regular flour if the recipe calls for it. And then as far as like an ice cream, using local organic dairy would make a dessert a lot healthier. So those are the kind of ingredients we're gonna be centered around today. Now because it's summer, we also do have berries. So the kids and I this morning went to pick cherries and blueberries. That's what's currently ripe. Dad, is this how you're supposed to pick them? Yep. What'd you get? A hundred. A hundred cherries? Yeah. Wow. We have a wonderful place locally that has blueberries, blackberries, cherries, peaches, strawberries, everything you can imagine. And so then all summer as they become ripe, we go and get some. Right now, this is what is available. So the three things I'm going to make today are an einkorn berry crisp. You can use any type of berry. If you wanna use raspberries, blackberries, whatever's in season. I'm going to just be putting blueberries in mine, maybe a few cherries because that's what I have. I'm going to be doing a strawberry cheesecake ice cream made with raw milk and a sourdough cherry cobbler. This is gonna be based off of my recipe on the blog. I have a strawberry cream cheese cobbler, a peach cobbler. This is going to be the cherry variation because that is what we have. And my kids are gonna be super happy with me that I'm making this video today because we're gonna have so much dessert. So let's jump in. The first thing we're going to do, because I only just fed my starter about an hour ago, I'm going to let it sit until I'm done with the other things, is get the berry crisp going. To do that, I'm mixing up one cup of oats, one cup of einkorn flour, three quarters of a cup of coconut sugar, a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, combining that all up and then cutting in three quarters of a cup of cold, salted butter. For the berries on this, I'm going to get six cups of berries, mix it in a bowl with a quarter cup of coconut sugar, a quarter of a cup of einkorn flour, and two teaspoons of vanilla. Once it's all assembled, I am baking it in a 375 degree oven for about 35 minutes. All right, while that's going, I'm going to get my ice cream going. This is a recipe over on the farmhouseonboon.com blog. Actually, all of these are on there, so there'll be links in the description below if you wanna print these out and have them handy for your summer dessert menu. I'm going to combine here in my blender two cups of whole milk, a cup of heavy cream, five egg yolks, a third of a cup of honey. Give it a blend in the blender. One eight ounce package of softened cream cheese. And then pour it into my ice cream maker. Now 
Now to incorporate the strawberries, I'm going to make a simple strawberry sauce that you can either pour right on top of your ice cream or if you wanna get really fancy, if you're bringing this somewhere and you wanna serve it nicely, you can pour it into a freezer safe container and layer a little bit of ice cream, then a little bit of strawberry sauce and repeat. That will create a nice little swirl sort of throughout the ice cream whenever you scoop it out. To make the strawberry sauce, I am mixing together one and a half cups of strawberries and one third cup of coconut sugar. I'm just using frozen today because we already went through all of the strawberries this season. You could also do a different berry sauce just to keep it really seasonal. Of course, I wanted to mix this video up a little bit, but you could do a little blackberry sauce or raspberry sauce. That would be just as delicious. For the sourdough cobbler, if you want to make this long fermented the night before you make it or even the morning before or a few hours before, the longer the better for health purposes, mix up two cups of flour. You can use freshly milled, you can use einkorn, or you can use an all-purpose. A half a cup of sourdough starter, a third of a cup of melted coconut oil, and a quarter of a cup of honey. After the dough has fermented, you can preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Add one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt. Next, add in a quarter of a cup of organic brown sugar or coconut sugar also works great. And a half a cup of cream to the sourdough mixture. Next, take four cups of pitted cherries and add them to a cast iron skillet along with a third of a cup of honey, a quarter cup of einkorn flour, and three tablespoons of butter. Just put the skillet on medium or low heat and mix until everything is melted and combined. Place the sourdough dough on a lightly floured surface and cut it out with a biscuit cutter or you could also just use the top of a mason jar, that works great too. Place the biscuits on top of the cherries in the cast iron skillet and then throw the whole thing into the oven for about 20 minutes or until the biscuits are cooked thoroughly. Now this tastes great with homemade vanilla ice cream. I have a recipe on the blog for how to make date sweetened ice cream. Instead of using any kind of sugar, you just use mushy dates. You can either soak them overnight in some milk or some actually are already mushy. So there's also a dairy-free and sugar-free recipe, dates only, over on the blog. If you're looking for a really healthy ice cream recipe, that one is wonderful and it's so good when you make a vanilla variety and serve that with these cobblers. They just deserve ice cream with them. All right, well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that I've given you some ideas for some delicious and healthier summer desserts. If you are brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home.